What's more fun than spending an afternoon working with batik on fabric? How about working with batik on paper as well? Come online and enjoy a wonderful workshop that is educational, fun, and will leave you with a ton of possibilities for how to use batik wax in your work. Rosie Robinson, our instructor, has more than 30 years experience as a batik teacher, artist, and author, all of which she brings to the workshop dedicated to contemporary batik. Let's have a look at what's inside. In part one, we explore batik on paper. Rosie demonstrates how to work with fine art papers, as well as papers you can find around the house. Everything from Japanese sumi paper to newspaper and napkins, and even tissue paper are worked with wax, followed by dyes, to create specialty papers you can use in a number of ways. Traditional brushes and chantings, as well as kitchen utensils, cookie cutters, and even cardboard tubes are dipped into wax and applied to our paper. We follow with fabric dye, which works well on paper. The dye color, against the wax resist, brings the paper to life. And when you're done getting the color on the paper, it's time to have some fun taking it out. Watch Rosie apply wax to the tissue paper and then using ordinary household bleach, discharge the color from the paper to reveal imagery left by the wax. More than simply putting wax on paper, the Batik Plus Paper Workshop is specialty wrapping paper, fine art, book covers, wall art, illuminations, and wax decoupage. And when you're done with paper, it's time to go on to the second workshop and work with fabric. We start Batik Plus Fabric with a workshop featuring silk. Using some of the techniques you developed on the paper workshop, while adding a few more, Rosie applies them to silk, where the colors and wax contrast in the most beautiful way. Striping, feathering, spattering, stenciling, and even more are covered as Rosie shows how to create finished pillow covers made from blanks you could order from your fabric shop. Next up is batik on cotton. Instead of working on a frame, Rosie shows how to use a sheet of cardboard to work off the frame on a finished cotton shirt. From design, through waxing, to immersion dyeing and getting the wax out, all parts of the process are covered in detail in this project that can be completed and ready to wear in the same day. From there, we get into more complex processes and develop greater skills and understanding on how batik wax can be used to resist color in your work. Floral themes are explored as well as mark making and finally discharging fabric in this final and exciting part of the workshop. By the time you have completed all of the lessons, you'll be ready to make some wonderful wearable art, decorative items, and papers you could use throughout the year. Several additional projects and many tips and tricks are covered as well in this packed workshop available now at Galley Publishing. Want to learn more? Visit Galley Publishing today where you will find the Batik Workshop available for purchase. And as with all the workshops available from Galley Publishing, enjoy the entire introduction to the workshop for free. When you're ready to buy, click the purchase button, complete the transaction, and the course is ready for you to enjoy on your computer, tablet, or mobile phone every day of the week, any time of day. It's yours to have and enjoy. Batik on Fabric Plus Paper is a resource you can revisit whenever you're in need of ideas and methods on how to create papers and fabrics unique in every way. Batik on Fabric Plus Paper, now available online from Galley Publishing.